Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. On today's episode, let me show you how you can deal with vertical video in iMovie. So let's say you took some video with your iPhone and you made the mistake of taking it in vertical mode. It's very common because it's easy to hold your iPhone this way and take video and then you go to look at it on TV or on your computer and you realize that uh, it was probably a mistake. You never see TV or movies or anything like that shot in vertical mode. It's all horizontal mode of course. So you should get in the habit of always turning your iPhone horizontally to take video. But let's say you want to actually create something with this and now you've got the problem where if you put this in iMovie you're going to end up with basically what people call two black bars on either side. Let's create a new project here and I'm going to drag and drop this video in to the media. And you see now if I drag it here, here's the preview and we've got black bar here, black bar here, and the video which while high resolution is actually shrunk down to fit in here. And one way to deal with that is if you only need what's in the middle here you can go to crop and crop to fill and it shows you the area that is going to be used and you can move that around hit OK and then you get something that fills the whole screen but you're missing the top and the bottom. There's really no way to fix vertical video. You're going to either have to do without the top or the bottom or you're going to have to shrink the entire thing so that uh, you've got black bars on the left or right. But when you see this on TV because a lot of times people send vertical video into news stations and they're showing uh, some video and you've got left or right uh, black bars there. They fill it in with something. They don't just leave it black. And we're going to take a look at how you can do that with iMovie. It's very easy to do in uh, advanced programs like Final Cut or Premiere. You do all sorts of things. There's really not a good function for it in iMovie but there are some things you can do. So the easiest thing by far is to use a background to go behind this. So I'm going to remove this video here so I have a blank project down here. There's my vertical video but I'm going to go to backgrounds first. I'm going to scroll past the maps part and get to the regular backgrounds. And there's several backgrounds that work really well. You can use a basic gradient. Uh, a lot of people like to use industrial, for instance. Um, a lot of good things that you could use, or just use a solid color or something like that. But the curtain one has moving, flowing curtains. Blobs is really good because it's kind of animated and so is underwater. Uh, let's just do something really simple here and use industrial just to show you how it works. I'll drag it down into here. Let me shrink the area here a little bit. I'm going to go over to My Media and drag the actual video as a cutaway on top. So the main video is really the background and my video is cutting away there. And I can expand the background so it matches the time of the cutaway. And you can see now instead of having nothing on the left or right I now have the background showing there which is a little bit better. And now if I wanted to switch them out I'll, I'll drag blobs into there instead replace it. I'm going to have to stretch it again. And now you can see I've got something actually animated back there. You can see the blobs moving around. Now you're not stuck with the color. The color of underwater or blobs um, or even curtain. You can actually change that. If I select it and I look at all the things I can do with the video here I can adjust it uh, if I want. So I can actually go in to uh, filters and use one of those filters there. Switch it to black and white for instance. Or I could just go into the color adjustments here. I can uh, say desaturate it. I can then apply, go have it go blue or yellow on me. I can super saturate it as well and adjust the color a little bit. So you have some ability there. You adjust the color, the brightness to kind of mix the effect up. Make it a little bit different. And you can kind of mix and match these. I can apply a visual effect like that and also change the color. So there's a lot of different things you can do. And that's a pretty nice effect there. So you've got something going on in the left and the right and you've got your regular video in the middle. But let's say that you want to take it a step further and you actually want to have uh, the same video but blurred in the background. You see this a lot on news programs. You can do that too. Unfortunately you can't really do it very well but it might be good enough. I'm going to delete what's in there so I start off blank again. I'm going to go to My Media and take the vertical video, stick it in there and I get it with the black bars on the side. But I'm going to go to Cropping, Crop to Fill and select the area I want to use. So now I've got the video filling the space. 
So what I want to do to it is I want to kind of blur this because this is going to be the background part. So you can easily do it with the filters just like I did there and choose something like say Dreamy. And then you can maybe even go to Colors and do something like desaturate it and make it all like a single tone. I can uh, bring down the contrast or bring it up uh, to create all sorts of different effects. And let's say let's just leave it like that. Um, and I'm going to bring the video in again but this time overlaying the top. So now I've got the video as an overlay and I've got the video as the background. Now I've got two audio tracks here so I want to make sure that I re either remove the audio track from one of these like the background or just drop its volume to zero so I don't duplicate the audio there. Um, so here you go. It's a simple quick way to do it. It doesn't look as good even if you I play around with all the different color corrections and filters and it doesn't ever look as good as what you see on TV when they have to do this on the news or something. But it is quick and easy to do. Here's a more complex method that allows you to blur the background even more. I'm going to start off by choosing a background like blobs. I'm going to put that in there and then I'm going to put in my video on top of that. It's an overlay. I'm going to change the cropping of the overlay. I have the overlay selected. Crop to fill. Select the area. Hit OK. So now uh, I basically have this blobs background behind the overlay which is filling the space. So I don't see the blobs. But I will. I'm going to stretch it here so they're the same length. I'm going to select the overlay again. Click on the overlay adjustment button here. And I'm going to change the opacity. So I'm going to make it semi-transparent over the blobs. So now you can see the blobs and the regular video. And then I can adjust the blobs here. I'm going to uh, do color adjustment. Uh, desaturate it. Maybe change it to like a blue. Uh, I can maybe play with any of these other settings here to get it how I want. So now I've got something that's a little blurrier and I can make it even blurrier than that. I can go to Titles and take the Pull Focus title, bring that in over everything and what Pull Focus does is it blurs the background and puts a title over it. I'm going to make a title that's nothing. I'm going to just put a space there instead. So now I'm blurring it. I've got a semi-transparent overlay over these blobs that are moving and changing. I can go even more here. I can adjust uh, this to add filters, do whatever I want to it. Like I could just go here and let's add the dreamy filter just to even make it blurrier. So now it's very blurry, weird video. And I'm going to then export that. So I'm going to, go to File, Share, File, Export, call this one Background. And now we'll export this thing as a separate file. All right, now it's done exporting. I'm going to go through all this, and I could save it if I want, make a new project, but I'm just going to go and delete everything. And I'm going to take this background video that I just created and drag it in here. And now you can see it's this blurry video, and it's just one thing. I'm going to go into my media, take the original video, put that over it, and then make sure I silence one of the two audios. And now I've got what I want. I have a blurry, weird background, and I've got clear vertical video in the middle. 